The reaction's been great. Like, this is the first time we've actually shown uh, publicly a lot of the game content, like the gameplay stuff. We've shown trailers, we've shown CG, but now we're, we're no, no bones about it. We're actually getting people's hands on the game, which is really nice. So people are really happy to see the diff three different chapters. So. So they all have different kinds of horror. Leon's is more, uh, the, the meat of the campaign is going to be the classic gothic Ari horror, a lot of cramped horror doors, not a whole lot of ammo. Um, but in Chris and Jake's, you're still going to have a different type of horror. It's going to be like, for Jake example, the new one, to give a little bit of background on his demo, uh, a lot of the time during the demo, he's going to be chased by the, the giant Ustanak character, which can be compared to like the RE3 nemesis. It's going to be, you know, that, that thought in the back of your head of something always on you, something always pursuing you, uh, just giving you a different kind of horror. Chris is going to be, so with him, we has like, uh, in our demo today, we have tons of different enemy types. Um, there's a lot of just kind of like surprise horror, I want to say. So we have enemies where uh, they may look like normal guys with masks on, but depending on where you shoot them, uh, you say you shoot them in the legs. Maybe the legs will blow off and like this monstrous wing comes out there. They start flying away, become like a super B.O.W. So uh, again, just a different type of horror for each one. So it's three distinct sections of the game, and we actually like to call it three. They're th three different games within themselves. They're, they're entire campaigns. They're not just like mini chapters. Uh, you can start and stop however you'd like. If you'd like to play a couple chapters of Leon and then go straight into Jake. You need your action fix a little bit more, you're more than welcome to. Fan reactions always, they always shape the game to an extent. Uh, for the first time, we've never had a game in Resident Evil history that's had this much kind of, uh, at least in my opinion, fan service. There's so many characters, usually you have like maybe one headline character like Claire or Jill or Jake or Lee, or not Jake, but Chris or Leon. Um, but in this one, we've got like a whole, you know, a whole menagerie, a whole cast of characters that are all big hitters, heavy hitters, and they have their own campaigns. So, and we have also stuff like where for the first time we have the ability to move and shoot. That was one big thing in RE5. It was a huge hit that we kept hearing. Uh, now you can actually move and shoot. As well as that, you're able to move, you're able to dive, you're able to kind of scoot along the ground. Tons of more mobility options uh, for different players to choose from. So, we listen to all our fans. It's impossible to please everybody, but the, the goal of this was to have a little bit of something for everybody. So again, we have that, Leon, the, the old school RE fans, the old guard, the RE2, 1, 2, and 3, the like that, you know, the static background corridor shooters, uh, they're going to love Leon's campaign. It's that kind of old school gothic, you know, we don't have a whole lot of ammo, zombies everywhere kind of campaign that they're used to and they love. Uh, Chris is like, is again, kind of more akin to RE5, so the new crowd that got introduced maybe at RE4, RE5, uh, they're going to feel right on par when they jump into that. And Jake is something new that we have to offer to everybody. Chris and his partner are going to be in Langshi, China. Uh, Jake and Sherry Birkin are going to be in Eastern Europe. And then Leon S. Kennedy and Helena Harper are going to be in North America at Tulloch University. So the whole story is that there is a global outbreak of a new virus, not the T virus, not the G virus, but the C virus. <laughs> We're going to run out of letters to run with, rhyme with C and G and T suit. But this, this virus is totally bad, it's totally nasty. Um, but what it is, is they're all working together in their separate regions of the world to solve like little bits of the puzzle. And it all does come together. It told you before, it crosses over at times, but in the end, it will come to like a, a giant culmination of the story as a whole. Yeah, so we originally announced the game. It was announced uh, with the November 20th release date. Um, we're super confident. We, we've been trucking on this, this game for, for years already, and we're happy to move it up uh, so everyone can experience the fear, the horror, everything they want to share uh, a little bit earlier. Uh, it's going to be coming out on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 on October 2nd and PC at a later date.